दिस इज एन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू मेजर द वेवलेंथ एंड ग्रेटिंग एलिमेंट दिस इज आवर ग्रेटिंग एलिमेंट एंड दिस इज द स्क्रीन एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू मेजर द वेव लेंथ एंड द ग्रेटिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बेसिकली वट वी हैव टू डू वी विल जस्ट फाइंड आउट दी वेव लेंथ एपरेटस वट एपरेटस बेसिकली वी आर यूजिंग हियर दिस इज लेजर सोर्स दिस वन इज द ग्रेटिंग आई एम यूजिंग हियर दिस ग्रेटिंग which have 15000 lines per inch this is our screen so there are only three components into this apparatus by using this we have to find out the wavelength and the grating element so first we first of all we have to find out the wavelength so this is a laser source as i said earlier so this laser light basically falls on it this grating element and as a result of it uh, it diffracted and this diffraction patterns develop this bright spot at the screen this one the central maxima and here this is of the first order this one and this is the first order diffraction so what is the important point Uh, to find the diffraction grating and the uh, laser wave length we have to use uh, a diffraction law basically that is uh, n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta so i can use this n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta so if suppose i want to find out this lambda so how to find it it means from the observation i have to find out this d this theta and the order of n so what is the order of n n is the diffraction order which order basically we are considering so suppose i am using n is equal to 1 what is it means if i use n is equal to 2 then what is the meaning of it n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 so n is equal to 1 means that this time this is the central maxima and this one is the first order diffraction so this n is equal to 1 if i am getting one more here that will be n is equal to correspond to n is equal to 2 and now then after how to find out this d this d is the grating element and grating element one can find out with the help of grating now right now we have 15000 lines per inch into the grating so we know that 1 inch is equal to 2.54 cm and 1 cm Uh, to uh, the number of lines basically in 2.54 cm are 15000 so 15000 lines means you have 15000 slits of equal space so i have to find out this one slit of a slit width of this grating so that is basically grating element this is grating element and for this particular it will be d one slit width one slit width will be that is d will be equal to 2.54 cm upon 15000 lines so this will be the slit width so by this way one can find out this d and how to find out theta theta if you see carefully this experiment the distance between the grating this grating and this is screen that will be suppose capital d this is the horizontal distance between the screen and between the 
grating. So this I can say this is capital D. So I am writing here this is capital D. That is the distance between screen and the grating which we are using here and what is now the next point is now we are looking that this is our central maxima this is our central maxima and this one is the first order diffraction in both the side this one and this one so the average distance from the central maxima of it that will be first we have to measure this distance then after this one and take the average of it so that will be y now in first y1 and y2 take the average of it that will be y so this situation is looks like uh, here your screen this is the grating and this is central maxima this one is the first order diffraction so I am saying that the distance between uh, grating and this screen is D and this distance is Y1 and Y2 so I am taking the average so that average will be this one now this is Y so I have to find out this theta so theta so using tan theta tan theta will be equal to y upon d and from here I can find out theta theta will be tan inverse y upon d and now I can use this theta into this diffraction formula so by this way I can find out the lambda so this by this way one can basically can do the calculation for the wavelength and then can compare with the standard value so this is the way to find out the wavelength using this experiment